Hello everyone, this is Uma Maheshwari solving the one star Sudoku puzzle from Hindu newspaper dated 2nd June 2022. Let's get started. I would like to make a tutorial out of this puzzle. One of my viewers asked me how I am randomly choosing numbers. So that is why this idea of tutorial came into my mind. So in this tutorial, I would like to share some smart tips to fill a row quickly. For that, I have selected this zero. Um, this zero has four empty cells. There is one section of zero completely filled and there is one section completely unfilled. To fill this zero, we take clue from the numbers above the zero in these three blocks. Especially these three numbers which are present here form excellent clue, gives excellent clue because these three cells are completely empty. Now uh, 6 and 9 are already present in 0. So let's leave these two numbers. This 8 here completely blocks these three cells. So now in 0 there is only one cell left empty and 8 goes here in C1. If you know this technique as soon as you open the puzzle you can you, you can straight away fill C1 with 8. Otherwise, uh, if you follow the traditional cross meeting technique, of, technique, then it will take some time to identify this cell. Now, in 0, there are only 3 empty cells and the missing numbers are 1, 3 and 7. Now, you need to look for 1, 3 and 7 in these 3 columns. There is 3 and 7 in column 5 blocking this cell. So C5 takes 1. Now in 0 there are only 2 cells left empty and the missing numbers are 3 and 7. We do not have clues of 3 and 7 uh, down in these two columns. So let's mark it with small 3 and 7. So we have filled this 0 in 1 go. Um, now, this 3 and 7 are called matching pair. So, what is a matching pair? Um, now, we know that these 3 cells take 3 and 7 only, If, uh, but we do not know which number goes where. So, if C4 takes 3, C6 takes 7, and if C6 takes 3, C4 takes 7. That is called matching power. And moreover, this is a powerful matching pair because um, this helps to fill, a, fill this zero and at the same time it helps to fill this block also because now in this block already two cells are filled and we have only three cells left empty. Now missing numbers in this block are 2, 4 and 5. Uh, so, looking for 2, 4 and 5 in these two columns, we have a 4 here in column 4 blocking these two cells. So, 4 goes here in A5. Now, the missing numbers are 2 and 5. We do not have any clues of 2 and 5 across. So, let's mark it as a matching pair 2, 5 here. Now, this 2, 5 is also a powerful matching pair because this helps in filling this block also and this column 4 also. Let me show you one more example for filling a row quickly. Um, let us fill this I row. There are 6 cells missing, 6 numbers missing in this I row. Uh, let us see how to fill all the 6 cells in one go. Uh, there is a 9 here blocking these two cells and there is a 9 here blocking these two cells. There is a 9 here in column 7 blocking this cell. Now there is only one cell left empty uh, and 9 goes here in I9. Normally how we look at it is we see this, this 9 blocks this row, this 9 blocks this row and we have a 9 blocking this column so 9 goes here. But then if you are focusing on a particular row you need to see what are the numbers blocking these cells. Now, if you 
or if you have identified a number which is blocking these two cells immediately you should search whether the same number is blocking the other cells also so when you train your mind this way it is very easy to identify numbers in harder puzzles okay so let's now move on um, now for learning purpose let me teach you a technique now i told you to fill a row um, we get clues from the numbers above this row in this three blocks right so now um, this row has 1 9 6 and 5 let me first visually eliminate the numbers already present here now we have 4 8 and 7 present and these 4 8 and 7 will help us in solving the puzzle now if you take 8 8 blocks this cell now i am looking for 8 here yes i have 8 here in column 6 blocking this cell now i do not have 8 blocking these three cells so now 8 is not an excellent clue to use at this point of time so let's use try to uh, use 4 this 4 blocks this cell uh, yes there is a 4 here in column 5 blocking this cell there is a 4 in column 2 and a 4 in column 3 blocking these two cells so 4 goes here in i6 there is a 7 here blocking these two cells there is a 7 here in column 5 blocking this cell So seven goes here in I seven. Now there are three cells empty. Uh, now you um, in this column five you can see we already have four, six, and one in I row, but we do not have three. So um, if three blocks this cell, three will go only in these two cells. Luckily, we have a three here in column two blocking this cell. Um, so three goes here in I three. Now there are only two cells left empty, and the missing numbers are two and eight. Let's look for clues of two and eight in these two columns. We do not have any two and eight, but here we have a eight. Right, this eight. right away blocks these three rows these three cells so in this block 8 naturally goes here in i2 so now the only empty cell is 2 so we just saw how to uh, how to fill a uh, entire row quickly with these tips for today's tutorial let me move on and solve this puzzle um there is a 2 here in i row uh, blocking these three cells and 2 goes here in g9 now in this ninth block there are only two empty cells and the missing numbers are 3 and 5 there is a 5 blocking from column 9 so h9 takes 3 and h8 takes 5 um now here in uh, the seventh block there are only three empty cells and the missing numbers are 2 4 and 6 there is a 2 and 4 blocking from column 3 so h3 takes 6 there is a 4 blocking from column 2 so h2 takes 2 and h1 takes 4 now in h row there is only one empty cell and the missing number is 7 in column 9 there are only three empty cells and the missing numbers are 4 7 and 8 there is 4 7 blocking from f row so f9 takes 8 uh, there is a 4 blocking from d row so d9 takes 7 and b9 takes 4 now here in third block there are only four empty cells and the missing numbers are 2 3 7 and 8 uh if you see here there is a 7 8 pair blocking from column 7 so 7 and 8 goes in these two cells there is a 8 blocking from b row so b8 takes 7 and a8 takes 8 now 2 and 3 goes in these two cells 
there is a three blocking from a row so two goes here in a7 and uh, three goes here in b7 this two cancels out the two here so a4 takes five and b4 takes two now in b row the missing numbers are five and nine there is a five blocking from column one so b1 takes nine and b2 takes five uh, here in a row the missing numbers are six and seven there is a six blocking from here so uh, a3 takes seven and a1 takes six now here in column three there are only two empty cells and the missing numbers are five and eight there is a eight blocking from f row so f3 takes five and e3 takes eight this seven from column six cancels out the seven here so c6 takes three and c4 takes seven uh, in zero we have three empty cells and the missing numbers are three eight and five uh, there is a three and eight blocking from here so g6 takes five there is a three blocking from column five so e g5 takes eight and g4 takes three uh, and in column 5, there is only one empty cell and the missing number is 5. In column 7, there are only two empty cells and the missing numbers are 1 and 5. There is a 5 blocking from E row. So, E7 takes 1 and D7 takes 5. Uh, in column 8, the missing numbers are 2, 3 and 4. There is a 3 and 4 blocking from D row. So, D8 takes 2. There is a uh, 3 blocking from E row. So, uh, E8 takes 4 and F8 takes 3. In column 6, the missing numbers are 1 and 2. There is a 1 blocking from here. So, E6 takes 2 and F6 takes 1. Um, in column 4, the missing numbers are 8 and 9. There is 8 blocking from E row. So, E4 takes 9 and D4 takes 8. In E row, the only missing number is 7. In D row, the missing numbers are 1 and 9. There is a 9 blocking from column 1. So, D1 takes 1 and D2 takes 9. Uh, here in F row, the missing numbers are 2 and 6. There is a 6 blocking from column 1. So, F1 takes 2 and F2 takes 6. And the puzzle is solved. Hello friends, in this video we have learned two things. One is smart tips to fill a row quickly and another thing is about matching pair. If this video is useful to you, please like this video and share it with a person who loves solving Sudoku puzzle. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.